Welcome to another F1 Clash video in the new F1 Clash 2023 season. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can recognise that you're racing a bot and you can then go and win every duel against a bot going forward because you know the traits that they follow. So, so here we are at Canada and I should hopefully be able to show you exactly what the bots do. And it is quite drastic, the action the bots take. And why you should never give up hope when you're racing these bots so quite a mixed start so p2 p6 p5 and p9 for the rival we're going to do both on mediums i'm not going to use boosts for the purpose of this video and hopefully it is a bot you never know the tires medium and hard so it looks like a potential or soft and hard sorry it looks like a potential bot here as we get off so we're going to get off and what i want you to do is basically you'll see the rivals not pushing and they can start on other tires so just be wary of that now what you want to do in this early stage for the first part is save as much ers power unit as you can and i'll show you why in a very second because even though we're losing position it's not the end of the world these bots are now going to start basically putting the foot down and using all their ERS. This is for both cars. So here we go, look, at that point there, this Russell uses all his battery, and so will the other one. You can see the other one boosting as well. Let's, let's zoom out a bit more so you can see. So this car, Russell and Perez, are all going to use all their battery up here. And what we're going to do is just keep ahead of that oncoming car. And you can see the other one coming through. They're still pushing on lap two using all their power unit up completely gone and you can see russell there now out of power unit and even though we're going backwards because we're conserving perez has used all his power unit up as well so we can start pushing a bit further on now and you can see verstappen now getting through in the back and we're pretty comfortable then for the rival there's another position p5 and basically, that, this rival, this bot, is not really going to use any more power unit in this race. Perhaps maybe half a lap towards the end, they'll use it. But all they're going to do now is basically conserve. And we're going to try and make a move past Lewis Hamilton down here. Job them. Verstappen, all good. Still, rival's not pushing at all. And you can see the rival in the pits now on that soft. Chances are they might come out on maybe hards. And they do. So an early pit stop with the hards. They're going to be slow as anything. And yes, we haven't got a massive gap to them. So we're going to push now from the front. We're going to pit for the mediums. And we're going to just conserve. We need to create a gap. So conserving down the straights. Building up that energy. Now, yes, I know some of you won't be starting at the front like I have. But this video is to purposely give you information on how the bots do work. So if the bot does fly past you on the second lap, then it's not the end of the world. Because if you save your energy and your ERS system, you can just fly back past as soon as they're out. And you'll notice that now they won't really budge when it comes to using this again. So Hamilton will basically... Can medium boost to the end now. We'll get past Russell. We'll try and stick to Russell so you can see them using their boosts. And we're going to just conserve again. So this is what you want to do. Remember, in duels against a bot, you don't need to score 47 points. You just simply need to beat them. But you can see they're both at the same ERS amount. They're both, well, one's coming in on separate strategies. But still, they're not pushing. So all we're going to do is combat it with Verstappen sitting in front. Hamilton's clear. And the rival going a bit backwards now. The chances are they'll start to push a little bit shortly, but it's barely be noticeable. But we're going to keep an eye on them anyway. And yeah, we're just cruising now from the front. The rival absolutely smashed past us. But we didn't even have to do anything. And then again, another key thing to watch out for on a bot is they will always lose a component 
on their car because they haven't serviced. So if you are losing with about three laps to go, remember around lap six or seven, they will break down, which makes it absolutely easy and a job done whichever position you're in because that's breakdown is a massive chunk of time that they'll lose. You can see in this race still, they haven't used any of their ERS, their power units, if you want to call it that. And we're approaching the last lap. So we can boost both of ours. And as you can see, now lap seven, Perez starting to use his power unit. Don't think we'll be able to see it from here. Or we can. You can see just going into lap eight, they're starting to boost. So back end of lap seven, exactly the same. They will start boosting. And we'll see if we can see them. I don't think they should be else. And they're going to look at that. Used all their power unit already. So only in two bursts, they use their power unit up. And you can see they're not. One still pushing with the power unit left. One isn't. So basically, there's only two parts that they run this race with their power unit. Back end of lap one for the majority of lap two. And the back end of lap seven for the majority of lap eight in this race. So for example, lap five into lap six if you're doing a six lap race so that is how i identify a bot that's how i keep my calm against a bot because remember they might come flying past you using all their ers but they're not going to use it for at least another four or five laps and you can just creep ahead and then match whatever they do so that is not a case of you can win absolutely everything you're going to get real players as well but I find with that strategy, knowing what the AI bots do, that I can really just manage every single race and win every duel against at least bots.